everybody. It's Jenny from the block. <laughs> Coming to you, yes, with the sister's view. So listen, uh, besides the fact that it's been a minute, a lot going on in life, I've wanted to address the hype of castor oil for some of my friends and family and followers. Castor oil, okay. My daughter sent me a video about someone using castor oil, but I kind of remember a while back, it's been a couple of years, I saw a video um, Oriental lady did where she wrapped herself in this fabric after rubbing castor oil pretty much all over her whole body. Um, and it, she talked about the, the healing, um, you know, that she received from doing that. And she talked about healing from everything from mental stuff in her, you know, just mood or whatever, to, oh, let me put my seatbelt on. Just coming from the gym, look kind of rough, don't say nothing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but she talked about all the things that it healed. And uh, I mean, I remember talking about liver, you know, even lungs. She talked about abdomen, stomach. She never talked about it helping you lose weight or anything like that. But casserole is key. As far as I'm concerned, casserole is key. Uh, so many people know I had two accidents last year. Both times injured my knee a little bit. It said there was a small tear, which really feels like a large tear most of the time. Excuse my loud car on this road. But I had to get this in. I wanted to do it in the gym, but it was just, you know, I like talking out loud while people around look like a crazy person. But casserole, I, I started buying the, the organic cold press, hexen free. Remember, to, it has to be that. And everyone that knows me know I'm anti farmer I mean, I, I will take something if I really, really need to, but I do my best not to. And that's just my preference. I'm not saying you should do that. Um, I, I do recommend you're very slow if you want to use casserole. I have recommended it to people, and I say that every time. Don't use a whole lot. I cover my hands. Like, I literally, like, my hands be shining. So, I, like, hand, I call it a handful. <laughs> Not like scoop like that, but I cover my hands too, where they're so wet. Whatever I rub them on, it's going to get on. And um, I started using it for my knee. Okay? The, from day one, I used it at night, went to bed. I rubbed it on the front, back, sides, just rubbed until it rubbed in, and then I put on some cotton, um, some jacket, something to sleep in, because cotton, uh, I didn't want to put anything else on there that would, because um, it's breathable, you know, I didn't want to put like polyester against it. The next seven, eight days, I forgot I had pain, okay, and it was, it was, it would be slight pain, but it would come and it would catch me off guard. So by the time I felt it again, it was maybe. Almost, almost two weeks. I'm not gonna make this up. Two weeks, no pain. But then I wore some heels. I like my heels still. Yes, I still wear my heels. And um, my knee and my ankle on my, my right leg started, you know, hurting that that night. So I did it again. I rubbed the the uh, casserole on my knee. Did my ankle. Same thing. Put on some cotton jeggings, uh, my leggings, and went to bed. I did my feet because it's all connected, of course. But I did my feet, too. So I put on some cotton socks. Uh, and I did buy the the pack that they say you should wrap yourself in, but I, I don't know. I seem to have better success without it. I don't know. I, I, I bought a pack. I tried it. Uh, it's kind of limited instructions with it. But, uh, I mean, I'll use it, if, you know, if I if I think I need a, a big enough area. But um, I really didn't see any big deal with the pack. But just to make a long story short, Casserole is key. Casserole should be the anointed oil because instead of us buying olive oil and how the old school do put it up for seven days and all that stuff, <laughs> casserole is the one because casserole has, I rub it on my temples, I rub it on my, on my um, lip noids everywhere, okay? Lip noids, my neck, my ears, behind my ears, um, in my groin, under my arms. And I've seen a dramatic change even in my workout because. I, I was rubbing it on my stomach because I saw a woman said she used it on her stomach and um, I have stretch marks because nobody taught me that you're supposed to oil your stomach when you have a baby and you get pregnant so I, I literally been rubbing it on my stomach I took a picture I ain't ready for no reveal yet I took a picture to see before and after like see how long if it's anything take. but what I have noticed is that my stomach went down like shrimp and I have a little pouch you know baby pouch still whatever they want to call it pouch 
I still have that. It, it doesn't show because it's soft. So I still can look good in my clothes. But it's there. I don't like it. So uh, then that's the place I've been struggling with almost forever since I've been working out since I was 16. Well, since I was 19, I guess. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know. As a testimony to Castor Oil, all hail to Castor Oil because Castor Oil works. It works works if you're working. It works. And I'm uh, sorry, I'm driving, looking around. You have to take your time. I put it in my belly button and I think I put too much the first time. That's the only like bad, bad, bad part. It's like I didn't really have any instructions on how much. But I put it in my belly button and I think I filled my belly button. I got belly button next to any. And so I filled it in like a little cup, a little, little scoop. And I felt so weird for like three days. Like, I don't know what the feeling was. It was different than I've ever felt. But it was almost like I was waiting for something to happen in here. Like, get sick or throw up. It wasn't, it wasn't nauseous. It was just a weird feeling. And I, um, I decided I did too much. So... The next time, I didn't do it for a while. Next time I did this, I put, I took my cotton ball, my cotton, my uh, Q-tip, put it in the castor oil and rubbed it in my belly button, just rubbed it in there. I didn't pour. And I didn't have that funny, funky feeling um, the second time I did it. I believe it is good for detox. Um, pretty much everything. I mean, eyelash growth, I've had it. Um, my eyelashes curl so tight. Um, hair, I've been using it on hair because I, you know, I heard about that years and years and years and years ago. So I've been believing in it for a hair product. Um, but all the other things that it does, I mean, I was going to do a pedicure on my hands the other day. I mean, a pedicure, a manicure on my hands. And I rubbed the, I kept getting this skin right here. It kept peeling up, kept peeling up. And you know how you get that and you just want to peel it, you want to bite it. And so I rubbed some casserole in one night. I just rubbed casserole and um i wrapped a bandage on it because i if i kept messing with it, it was gonna it was gonna be some dead skin peeling the next day here we go with the next day the next day okay so have a little bit up here because i started messing with it again but right up underneath there all that clean skin that's new skin it literally peeled off with no pain like a like a <laughs> shroop like a big swipe it was sitting there and i was like why does it look like that and i grabbed it and i peeled it right off it came off like paper in my hands. I know we have the power to heal our skin. Castor oil aids that. Castor oil like boosts that healing. Boost it. And I believe it boosts healing. And I believe it boosts healing, boosts healing inside and out. Because we used to take it as a kid. That's all I knew about. Um, you know, the nasty castor oil that you have to take in the winter time. Oh, I'm rubbing my eyes. So this puffiness is from allergies. And this did, I used to I still couldn't do that, but I'm doing some exercise for that. But up here where I can raise my eyebrows and I make lines, I had deeper lines coming. And I was like, uh-uh, I don't want that. So this, I watched the videos. lady said it was like, castor oil is like Botox. Um, not us. And so <laughs> I was like, let me try that. So I started rubbing it, like deliberately rubbing it like on the side of my eyes and up here. And I'm smart, massaging it, rubbing it in here. It's kind of hard to get in here. So it's not like, you know, just kind of strip it in there. But my face feels so, oh my gosh, my face feels so, I don't have it on this morning. Um, but it keeps the puffiness, takes the puffiness down. I put it in one of those roll bottles where I rolled across my eye. Keeps the puffiness down. Uh, all that. It's all that in the bag of chips. Get you some casserole. Give it a try. Make sure it's the organic cold press. Check back in with me and let me know. This is for you, Yaya and Mama T on YouTube. You got, that's right, girl. Do that casserole. Y'all need to hear her testimony. Mama T, got a testimony for you. All right, way better than mine. Mwah.